A tourist boat was sailing Thursday on Table Rock Lake when a severe thunderstorm whipped up intense winds and waves, causing the accident that left 17 people dead. Tia Coleman was on that boat. She survived the accident, but speaking from her hospital bed, she described the terrifying moment she lost nine family members, including three of her children. When that water came over the boat, I didn't know what happened. I had my son right next to me. But when the water filled up the boat, I could no longer see. I couldn't feel anybody. I couldn't see. I just remember, I got to get out. I got to get out. And I just remember kicking and swimming, swimming up to the top. And as I was swimming up, I was praying. I said, Lord, please let me get to my babies. A federal investigation is ongoing to determine if anyone in particular is directly at fault. President Trump and Iran's President Hassan Rouhani are engaging in a war of wards and threats. Over the weekend, Rouhani said the U.S. is, quote, playing with a lion's tail and said war with Iran would be the mother of all wars. President Trump fired back on Twitter, attacking what he said were demented words of violence. He went on to tell Rouhani to, quote, never threaten the United States again or you will suffer consequences of which few throughout history have ever suffered before. In nearly all United States uh, offices, you are not allowed to smile in your driver's license photo. And one DMV in Ohio, well, they found a pretty creative way to make sure you don't forget that. Attached to a camera at the Cleveland DMV office is a photo of LeBron James wearing a Los Angeles Lakers jersey. The city isn't exactly loving the fact that James recently left the Cleveland Cavaliers to head to the Lakers. This photo, which was posted over the weekend and quickly went viral, comes just a few weeks after the city of Cleveland tore down a massive banner of LeBron James. No smiling.